Oh my god, you guys, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. It's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, you got this guy, and it turns out his mother died from cancer, and then he's just like, no, and then he runs away, but then this alien ship comes and like kidnaps him. And then we don't know what happens to him for the next 30 years. Yeah. And then you see him as this badass thief mercenary guy. And he, he comes across these blue guys and they're like, 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 who are you and how do you know about our love? We like the love. We don't want you to have it. It's our love. And he's like, wait, there's another name you might know me by. But well, first I gotta try this trick to try to trick you into thinking I'm not who you think I am. But that didn't work, so okay. They call me Star. You know, the legendary outlaw. And everyone just laughs and no one really talks about it. And then what happens is, is he kicks all of their asses. So then you find out some political stuff. And then you find out he teams up with a tree or a raccoon, a hot alien dude, and Batista! Uh, and it is awesome. These guys then take on the quest of breaking out of jail because they sort of went to the shop guy to sell the art. But the shop guy was like, no, nah, I don't want anything to do with this. But the Spanish guy is involved. So, which is like, he's a badass guy. Yeah. Okay. So what's the destroy everything on my planet? And then he's like, what? And then the green woman shows up and tries to get it off him, but he decides, no, you ain't taking it. And then there are these two other guys, the raccoon and the tree, and they are bounty hunters trying to get the money that he has on his head. And because the other guys wanted the stuff back, and they made a deal with a friend of his, who was also the same guy who kidnapped him. Which really leads to a lot of awkward questions along the way. And, but then they go to jail, and they're in jail, and then they escape to jail. And then what happens is they have the final show up, and this badass guy with an axe who's been killing everybody gets his hands on one of those infinity stones. You know, the McGuffins from all of the other the movies. But it turns out, as soon as he gets it, he gets a lot weaker and he keeps getting his ass kicked. And Batista doesn't like him very much because he killed his family. Which is why, God, you know, the guy is the greatest movie I've ever seen. I may have left some stuff out there.